In Australia, there's a species of spider that has taken web construction a stage further still. It builds not just in two dimensions, but three. It regularly takes up residence in people's backyards and on their verandas. There's one under this plant holder. It's the notorious and very venomous redback. And what's brought it here is the extraordinary way in which it uses silk. The female usually builds at night and constructs this very elaborate web. It's not just wide, it's deep. To make it, she needs two flat surfaces, one beneath the other. And that's what she's found underneath the plant holder. First, she drops down, pulling a thread behind her. She sticks the end to the veranda floor. Then she goes back up again, trailing a second line, which she sticks to the first, so strengthening it. Then she pulls the line tight. That is a crucial element in the construction. Down she goes again. By the time she is finished, she will have fixed several dozen of these sticky, taut, vertical lines. An ant is approaching in the distance. An orb web would never catch one of these. It's a scout leading an exploring party. Searching beneath the plant holder, it's almost bound to blunder into one of the redback's lines. It struggles and so seals its fate. and its followers go the same way. The threads carry the vibrations back to the red back, waiting above. She has no need to hurry. Her meals are suspended in midair. Escape is impossible. She hauls them up in her own good time. The redback's trap is certainly economical with silk, but one North American spider hunts with just a single filament. This may look like a bird dropping, but that's just a disguise to fool anything that might want to eat it. In fact, it's a spider, and one with an even more extraordinary hunting technique. It's a bolas spider. Throughout the day, she remains motionless, but when evening comes, she prepares for action. She abandons her disguise and starts to move. Slowly, she makes her way down to the underside of the leaf. There she hangs from a horizontal thread. Next, she starts to spin a single strong line, pulling it out of her spinneret with her back legs. And at the end, there is a sticky globule. This is her bolas. It's all she needs. She climbs back up to her leaf and takes up her position on the horizontal thread with her weighted filament dangling from one of her front legs. A moth. She whirls her bolas, but misses. 
But she has ways of enticing the moth back. She can produce a pheromone, a chemical perfume, that the moth finds irresistible. What is more, she can change it to suit the particular species of moth that happens to be around. The moth comes back. This time, she's got it. Now, she starts to wrap it. But she's not finished yet. different moths and a different pheromone. <laughs> 